San Juan, Puerto Rico, one of the most romantic cities in the Caribbean that you can visit and chances are you're probably going to visit with your significant other. Well here we have some recommendation of things to do for the perfect date in San Juan and what is a great date without firstly going to brunch and today we are for the first time going to Hola Bistro in the Vanderbilt Hotel aquí en Condado San Juan. One of the things that we recommend that do not come here at 11 a.m. We got the reservation for 11 a.m. and we thought we were gonna get brunch, but it changed from brunch to lunch. So immediately as we were sat down with the brunch menu, they were changed up to the lunch menu. So we didn't know what to get. We were not expecting that. But other than that, so after 11, remember it's gonna be uh, cut out just to lunch. Uh, they should perform on that. <laughs> but other than that, we're gonna try it out. Uh, I think Pomite is gonna get the pulled pork and I'm either gonna get a salmon or another burger. So let me see, it's gonna be a surprise. Aesthetically, it's a very pleasing plate. It looks very, very, very tasty and very healthy more than anything. I've been pigging out the last couple of days and I just wanted a little bit something more health conscious. So we got the salmon with quinoa and a little bit of broccoli. But yeah, so let's try it out. Food looks very, very good. I really hope it's worth the money and the time to wait for it. The bottom side of the salmon, super, super crispy. So it brings a good texture with all the broccoli, the chicken piece, and the quinoa. They complement each other. Very good taste. Uh, lightly salted only. I think I would have like, rubbed a little bit of pepper or something else. But I understand that the flavors of the quinoa and the chickpeas and everything are just uh, more balanced to it. Honestly, very good. I like it. Good salmon. We are in San Juan Sip and Paint with the owner right here. She's gonna tell us a little bit about the history and the mission here in this beautiful business. Well, hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Adelise. I'm one of the owners of San Juan Sip and Paint. We've been here since August of last year and we started with Sip and Paint and when we originally started, all of our paintings were dedicated to anything that was happening in Puerto Rico. La Puerta de Puerto Rico, um, Carita, El Morro. And over time we realized that our guests were not only going to be tourists, they were also going to be members from Puerto Rico so we decided to expand our classes and add other things that other people wanted to see so today we are starting a brand new class of scented candles so we hope that you guys join us and if you have any questions visit us on our website or on our Instagram San Juan Sip and Paint underscore thank you very much Ooh, so excited to do that so everything you want to know it's gonna be down below in the links check it out San Juan Sip and Paint thank you You like yours? It's more fresh. Yeah, I know. Even though I use a little bit of bubble, but this one is really good. Yeah.
Some of the recommended spots for you to visit in Old San Juan would be Museo Casablanca. This used to be the house of Juan Ponce de Leon, the first governor of the island and the first settlers of the Isleta of San Juan. I recommend you visiting not only one but two of their gardens. They're going to be a little bit hidden, so I recommend having a little bit of the time to go visit. Second recommendation would be to visit La Factoria in Old San Juan to drink an old fashioned. This has been rated one of the top 50 bars in the world a few years in a row, so you better go and check that out. And lastly, I recommend you to visit Anita Gelato. They have authentic Italian gelato and other crazy flavors that you can try out too. Sometimes it gets a little bit crowded, but it's completely worth it. Trust me, guys. An intermediate school in the early 1920s. We're gonna see a little bit of the history behind the building, how it's been conserved and everything inside of it, and a bit of Puerto Rican history with arts and everything in the museum that you can enjoy. The entrance is gonna be $8 per person, so for both of us, we ended up spending $16. I honestly recommend it if you're in San Juan and you have a rainy afternoon or a rainy day and you don't wanna get wet, you can come here, see this beautiful place. There's a lot of places to eat and visit all the way around, so I really recommend it out here. This museum caught me by surprise, guys, because I saw a lot of the history between Puerto Rico and how the Americans used to see it in the early 1900s and how modern and how much the history has been told around. It's very interactive. You're going to have videos, you're going to have maps, you're going to have a lot of things for you to do and try out as well as you are exploring the whole museum. This is where it got a little bit freaky because when you see that baby, you're thinking, what the heck is this? You see all of the pictures and everything, but the freakiest thing is that you can become the baby and wave your arms in this awesome way too. And that concludes our video of date ideas in San Juan, Puerto Rico. If you want to check out more food places to visit or places to visit in all San Juan, you have those guides right here. Comment down below what was your favorite spot and where would you take your date here in Puerto Rico. Comment down below any other recommendations for everybody to see. With that being said, Tongo PR, I'm out guys, peace.